left off at the end on Romi Tezvov in the Maral. The last opinion is why did Yudah, why did he merit Malchus, king, royalty? Because of the Kiddush Hashem, because of Kriyas Yamstov, who were the first ones to jump into the sea? Nafshim ben Amigadov, who was the prince of the tribe of Yudah. We're in first column, third line. Ukar Sova Shezochel Malchus, Menei Shekidish Mubarabim. Because he made a public Kiddush Hashem, Kachroi Lamalchus, therefore he's worthy of Malchus. Kibal Shem Hu Roi Lamelech. Kibal Shem. Ephraki the Siv Yitzish Shem David, Mechala Rotos. Vain Lo Yoser, Shubal Shem in Amelech. He says, a person who has renown, a person who has renown, he's worthy to be king. And he says, and who has the greatest degree of renown? The king. The king is respected, is revered by, by the masses, by the subjects. A person is neither connected to it's terrific. What's kid, what's a Kiddush Hashem Barabim? That means you're showing, you're bringing Hashem's glory to another level. That Hashem should be revered in the public setting. So what's Mida Kenegad Mida? As now you're putting Hashem on a pedestal that people should revere Him because of your action. Therefore, you will be deserving a similar level of what? Of renown, which is the ultimate, which is the king. He has the greatest le- level of renown. Mm-hmm. You will also have renown. He says, but a person who is truly humble, he has greater relevance to greatness. Okay? So the way ultimately, the final opinion is, is because of the Kiddush Hashem we wrote about. It has nothing to do with Nova. The reason why Yehuda merited king royalty is not because of his humility. Because we said that that he agreed that he, he offered himself to be the slave in the place of Binyamin has nothing with humility. That was he was he was the guarantor. He had no choice. Well, it doesn't that's not a display of humility and all the other things. That, so why ultimately? Of course, the Kiddush Hashem that he brought about. He jumped in the sea. The sea didn't split. He was willing to die. Not so. No, but but that. That quality, that character, no, 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 no. Any characteristics that you find exceptional, that's an indication it's in, it's in the gene pool of the, of, of the, of the, of the family. That was a, that was, a, that revealed the essence of Yehuda. If Nachsho, Oz and Nasi always epitomizes the characteristic of the tribe. And he's the one who's the first one to jump in, and he's the only tribe, the only Nasi, that tells us that's the characteristic. When it comes to Kiddush Hashem, they're the first to do the Kiddush Hashem. No, that, 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 that's laziness. That's laziness. That's lazy. That's something else. That's something else. You justify why I'll come later. There's no justification. Or if it's now or never. That, that's the question. Though. And it's a question of dying. You're going to see he may drown. And he said, Bo Maim and Nobish. He says, We're drowning. And when he said that, that's when the sea split. Okay? Same thing. It's interesting, you know, the story I always come over. It's a phenomenal book. It was put up by Art Scroll, Lieutenant Birnbaum. Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, there's a story in the book, but it's it's full story. Story with Eisenhower. Uh, I wish I was getting excited. Okay. So uh, it was Yom Kippur, and they were holding back the bomb in the VT camp. It was right, it's the first Yom Kippur after, after liberation. And um, Birbaum, with somebody by the name of Silver, who studied in Torvadas, uh, they came into the camp with Eisenhower. He was the first And Eisenhower did phenomenal things for the Jews in the deep camps. Deeper. Kosher meat. It's 
Tefillin, Sidurim, Sifri Torah. When he saw what happened, there were no, every door was open, every accommodation was done for them, built the, there, everything. Eisenhower, which was phenomenal. So Eisenhower came together with Pat. He was a, they just re re recently an article I read on a few months ago, came from Aryan descent. He was, a, he was an American Nazi. I mean, literally, he hated Jews. He referred to Jews with his writings. Vermin, curse to humanity. I mean, words, things he said, he hated Jews, like no less than the Nazis. He was a Nazi. So he comes into the camp. So I, so Gleisenberg Rib said that they must put on them, they had leather shoes. They must, even though it's your kipper, out of respect for Eisenhower, they have to put on their leather shoes. On your kipper. That's what he said. And the this, this silver and, and burp, they were his, his translators. They spoke Yiddish. So uh, they introduced him. They said, well, Eisenhower, this and that. So the Kleisenberg Rebbe gives a bracha to Eisenhower. Because of all the Jews. He says, your place in history has it. Really. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, he's going to have great because of what he did for the Jews in the camp. Your place in history hasn't yet been written. So Patton heard it, you know, and they, they translated. The silver translated for, uh, for Eisenhower in English. So Patton heard it. Yeah, yeah. The holy rabbi is giving a blessing. Even the anti semites they put a blessing. Mm -hmm. So he says to uh, him, he says to Patton, the place of Rebbe, your name you obliterated, your memory should be obliterated. So he has silver. So what did he say? He says, yeah. "Your place is also should be written in history." <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks later, he was killed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He returned. He was yeah. killed. Yeah. Two weeks later, he was killed. That was the story. So I'm just showing you in terms of Eisenhower. What did he do? What did he do? You know, what he did was a kiddush Hashem. Because there's a story in the book, unbelievable story. When it came to the, to the kosher food, they the kosher slaughtering. Who, who are qualified shofar, they do the slaughterhouses. The slaughterhouses are owned, are owned by Germans. So he gave the order that they go in, anything they want, they should be able to ritual slaughter. So the Nazis, Imach Schoen, the Germans said, here, it's humane. So the bodies were still piled eight feet high, and they were still warm. And he heard this, he blew up, inhumane. This was maybe a thousand feet from the from the slaughterhouse. Inhumane to kill an animal. Look what you people just did. He says, I don't want to hear anything. The slaughterhouse, whatever they want, you do for them. That that was the story. So I'm saying what I'm, I'm not coming to talk about Eisenhower. Coming to bring out the point that a morale. A person who does Hashem, which you you give renown to Hashem, Hashem gives you renown. That's the meter connected with that. Many of the stories from we had were brought over from Europe. You know, and we had many. We had Gemaras. It says printed by the United States, you know, armed forces. It was printed by them. Yeah. yeah. Of course, it was the order of the army, the United States of America. It said the armed forces printed. Eisenhower gave the order that they should be printed. Okay, let's see the mission.